We're back for another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. I'm your host, Casey Donovan, alongside our writer, Amy Malloy. Every Tuesday, we get on a roll with mindfulness tips for energy and momentum. Do you ever get told you're oversensitive? It can be really triggering. Maybe it comes from your partner, a family member, or even a co-worker. Something happens and you feel it deeply. Even if you express it respectfully, it can be met with displeasure. Stop being so sensitive. These four little words can cause a lot of heartache. So this episode is all about changing perspective. What if you're not oversensitive but the world is undersensitive? This perspective comes from Sarah Yip, a scientist and holistic counsellor. That's quite a combo. Sarah has been told she's too easily offended her entire life. She's sensitive to touch, sound, sights and foods. Maybe you can relate. The smell of your co-worker's lunch makes you gag. The texture of a fabric, the noise coming from a building site. Your stomach ties in knots and you must get out of there. It can lead to anxiety and overwhelm, says Sarah. There's also the guilt that you should handle it better. Not to mention other people's comments. Instead of thinking there's something wrong with you, Sarah recommends reframing your feelings. You're not oversensitive. What if the world's undersensitive? This isn't about judging other people. It's about realising the outside world can be overstimulating and an overwhelming place. Then taking measures to soothe yourself. One practical tip is embracing old-fashioned living, says Sarah. This includes how we work and how we achieve things. Have a maximum to-do list of five things a day, she says. Go for a less is more approach. Aim for quality over quantity. This could include a focus on making home-cooked meals. Putting aside time for a nap without the guilt. Working from home. Spending time in your garden. Most of all, Sarah says, keeping people in your life long term. We can have a habit of churning through contacts, she says looking for more people to meet and more people we can network with. Instead, aim for loyal, quality friendships. Value your people. Don't let them be disposable. These are the people who love your sensitive nature, who understand your triggers, who can slow you down and soothe you. It's like living as a funky grandma in a young body, says Sarah but it works for her. The antidote to sensitivity is self-kindness, she says. Follow these tips and you can smooth the corners of your world. I'm Casey Donovan and you've been listening to The Space, a podcast written by Amy Malloy. Oh, hey, why not share this episode with a wonderfully sensitive person in your life? We're back tonight with another mood-soothing episode. Until then... Space out.